been a great privilege to work with this collection and it's exposed me to all sorts of photographic gems from our history. We collect all photographic formats and photography and Victoria are approximately the same age, so most of our history is covered in photographs. Redmond Barry, the founder of the library, was quick to understand the educational value of photography and he in fact um, commissioned an early Melbourne photographer to record the opening of the inside of Queen's Hall and <laughs> it's a very amusing shot because the people who are in the shot are actually the staff of, of the library rather than being patrons of the library. The earliest types of photographs in our collection are daguerreotypes and ambrotypes where the photographic emulsion is actually put onto a plate and then the person sat down like I'm sitting here and um, right in front of the camera and the image was captured on the plate. It's a one-off which means that these are very precious talismanic objects. It's the first generation of people to have seen their own image captured in a photographic format and that's really interesting to look at how they behave in front of the camera, um, what they wore, how they set themselves up for the recording of their own image. The woman in the daguerreotype is called um, Joanna Gill and she's the wife of John Gill who was an architect in early Melbourne. They arrived in the 1840s. They were obviously very interested in um, these new forms of image making. After the daguerreotype and ambrotype, we move on to the formats where people had developed producing a negative and they could then, of course, make multiple prints from the negative. And here I'm looking at a, a carte de visite, which is an album and photograph pasted onto a little piece of card. And they were called carte de visites because they were the size of people's visiting cards. This was probably the sort of card that they sent to their relatives overseas. And they've all managed to hold on to one another to keep still for the long exposure, all except, of course, for the baby. People collected their carte de visites into these albums. So these really are the first photo albums. The new technology gave photographers the ability to go where the people were. This photograph by William Hale shows the travelling photographer's horse and cart William Hale went to the gold fields of around the Mafeking region, where of course people had a lot of money because they were mining gold. And this photograph shows William Hale's, or Wales, set up once he was in town. And on the front of the tent, he's advertising his carte de visite and cabinet card photographs. This plethora of material that we hold is available via the library's online system.